Hello, my name is Savannah Dorset, a librarian with Houston Public Library, and welcome to Book Chats, which just like it sounds, means we're talking about books. It's March right now, which is Women's History Month, celebrated annually worldwide as a way to acknowledge the role of women and their sometimes overlooked or unsung contributions to history and modern society. Although it should be noted, there's never a wrong month to celebrate the role of women in history and their positive impact on the world. March's designation as Women's History Month traces its roots from the celebration of March 8, 1911, as the first official International Women's Day in which delegates from all over the world demonstrated in favor of the right to vote, hold public office, and be protected from discrimination. In 1980, the week of March 8th was declared Women's History Week by President Jimmy Carter. Libraries, schools, and community organi organizations were encouraged to reflect on the efforts of such trailblazers as Harriet Tubman, Susan B. Anthony, and Sojourner Truth. In 1987, the celebration was further expanded into Women's History Month. So check out one of these awesome nonfiction titles and reflect on how far we have come and how far we have to go as a society. These are great reads for both avid nonfiction readers or fantastic starters for those who claim that history is boring because history looks different when the contributions of women are included. Our first title is The Little Book of Feminist Saints by Julia Pierpont. This eclectic and gorgeously illustrated book honors, a one, honors 100 women in various fields as secular saints, champions of progress and sources of inspiration for men and women of all ages. Subjects include scientist and environmentalist Rachel Carson as matron saint of future generations and the artist Frida Kahlo as matron saint of color. Each entry contains a short anecdote about the subject to encourage reflection, spark further interest, or encourage sharing with others. While a bit focused on figures from the 20th century in the Western world, this is a wonderful starter title, whether it be for a student looking for a subject for a women's history project, or someone looking for a new shiro to emulate. Our second title is Wonder Women, 25 Innovators, Inventors, and Trailblazers Who Changed History by Sam Maggs. Another wonderful starter title full of awesome ladies to learn from. This funny and engaging book highlights women who broke barriers as scientists, engineers, mathematicians, aviators, and the generally brave and brainy. Examples include Huang Daipo, whose weaving technology revolutionized the textile industry in China five centuries before anyone had heard of Eli Whitney's cotton gin, and Susan LaFleche Picot, the first Native American woman to earn a medical degree and a tireless campaigner for Native public health and legal rights. The book also features an extensive bibliography, a guide to women-centered science and technology organizations, and interviews with current female leaders in the STEM field who reflect on the amazing accomplish accomplishments of their foremothers. Get it for the geek in your life, or, you know, for yourself. Our third title is The Women's Hour, The Great Fight to Win the Vote by Elaine F. Weiss. This incredibly well-researched but still highly readable work recounts the sometimes contentious battle to make Tennessee the final state to approve the 19th Amendment, which in 1920 granted women the right to vote. Focusing on a few crucial summer weeks, Weiss weaves together the social, political, economic, and racial factors that complicated the fight, including the compromises, some may say betrayals, by the suffragist movement of African, -American, African Americans and their effort to win over Southern power brokers, male politicians such as Woodrow Wilson, who courted the women's vote for their own agenda, corporate interests who worried about their influence on government being weakened by this new voter bloc, the more things change, and the press who breathlessly reported on it all. 
Even with the results of foregone conclusion, the down to the wire vote tally and all of the larger than life players involved hold the reader's attention until the final page. Our final title is The Hidden Lives of Tudor Women, A Social History by Elizabeth Norton. Tudor history. It has enough beheadings and court intrigue for any Game of Thrones fan. So obviously, any nonfiction recommendation list has to include something from this time period. Creatively divided into Shakespeare's seven ages of man, from infancy to old age, this book covers women at every level of society, from queen to pauper, and how they enjoyed and sometimes endured life in Tudor England. Topics include what they wore, ate, and did for entertainment and to education for the small minority who were literate, marriage, childbirth, and the many dangers, and employment in professions ranging from servant, wet nurse, member of a religious order, respectable business owner, to the oldest profession. Warning. Norton does not pull any punches with the less than romantic view of ye olden times with discussions of back-breaking work, the threat of sexual violence, or the risk for those who defy the status quo, be it for their religious beliefs, daring to marry for love, or gasp, having an opinion, talk too much, how does a metal spike through the tongue sound? Rich or poor, for all the women discussed, it's about survival in a very uncertain and largely male-dominated world. Oh, but wait, there's more. As a special heads up on a title that hasn't been published yet because HPL is always on the lookout for more fantastic reads for our customers, author of the mega hit Radium Girls, Kate Moore, has a new work coming out in June 2021, The Woman Who C They Could Not Silence. Set in 1860, it tells the story of Elizabeth Packard, a housewife and mother of six, who is involuntarily committed to an insane asylum by her husband of over 21 years because he feels threatened by her intellect, her independence, and her unwillingness to stifle her own thoughts. Trapped within the Illinois State Hospital with its truly horrific conditions, she finds that she is not the only woman with the story conveniently labeled as a crazy because she doesn't fit the mold of what is a proper woman. No one is willing to fight for their freedom and disenfranchised both by their gender and the stigma of their supposed madness. They cannot possibly fight for themselves. But Elizabeth is about to discover that the merit of losing everything is that you then have nothing to lose. Best-selling author Kate Moore brings her sparkling narrative voice to an unputdownable story of the forgotten women who courageously fought for her fought for their freedom and in so doing freed millions more. Elizabeth's refusal to be silenced and her ceaseless quest for justice not only challenged the medical science of the day, it led to a giant leap forward in human rights. It also showcased the most important lesson. Sometimes the greatest heroes we have are those inside ourselves. Still looking for even more great titles? Ask your friendly librarian. HPL is here for you via chat, email, and telephone reference. And you can request a custom book list from us. You tell us what you enjoy reading, and we'll send you a personalized list of suggestions based on your likes and interests. How cool is that? This has been Book Chats. I'm Savannah Dorset. See you next time, and happy reading.